Yay! It's gonna be a day of me hoping you're recording. I haven't been white in a minute. Has been hotel. It's what us geeks call drama filled muddy looney tunes. I'm geek. A lot of cosplays came out of this one. And when I say a lot, I mean three or four. The same exact character. Which is a surprise because it's hardly of the main character. Not once the character has passed my feet. Main character. And I wonder why. Is it the Daffy Duck situation? The Luigi situation? When you see the main character loads of times, I kinda just don't want to. I don't want to see that character anymore. He's the main moron again. He's seen that face all the time. Do the cosplayers think, since they are the main character, and it'd be a Naruto or Deadpool situation? Did I say Deadpool? Deadpool situation. You just see them all the time, so it's well not cosplaying them. Either way, I've been painting my face in a while. I'm gonna do the main character. Early morning star. I'm not gonna do the suit version. I'm gonna do the dress version. He's more demon. I don't like long sleeves. One day you will know why. It's gonna be easy cosplay. I'm just gonna buy the dress and then add to it. I will do something with the buttons and add it to the dress. Oh, well, let's start. If you want to draw a pattern on a dress, you put that dress on backwards. If there are any mistakes, it won't show on the front, especially if it's a light colored marker. Not an actual marker, but a sewing marker. Find that middle. Finding the middle will make your pattern centered. This method of drawing the pattern on my body works best for me. I have a large chest and that's hard to imitate on a body form, at least on mine. I'm going to pin these two sides so I could see the edges of my pattern. So when it's on stretch, I'll be able to know where the border is so I do not pass that point. This is when I knew when I had a problem. This interface and do not stretch, but my dress stretch. So what should I do? There is a such thing as stretch interfacing, but I do not have any. So. More stretch fabric. You could use stretch fabric as interfacing for stretch fabric. I copy half of one of the hearts and put it on construction paper. Me not knowing this is going well. Time to pin this on a dress. And take out my gum because I'm talking now. So basically it will be this heart. I'm gonna trace this heart. This is how it is unstretched, so might as well do it unstretched. I'm doing this like kind of common sense, right? Because I've seen this tutorial on non-stretch fabrics a lot. I never seen it on stretch fabric. And if there, if it's on stretch fabric, you had to use stretch interfacing, which I don't have. <sighs> Hopefully this works. It's supposed to go in the middle here. So now I have to find the middle and where I'm putting it. Oh shit, I didn't think about that. So that's as far down I will go the front so I don't want to mess it up with liner okay so that's as far down I'm gonna go now I have to find the middle okay so from here to it is damn it I want it to be 12 so badly it's 12 and a half we're going with 12 and a half because it's easier to you know what <laughs> cool. I'm just gonna do that and find the middle I don't want to do math Ta -da! it is you see I would not have got that so from here to here this is the middle problem i don't want it to attach on the bottom this is how i lazy do things i use pins instead of and it's not a straight pin frick i have to do it over again so that's the middle this is so freaking crazy okay so i could put this on top like that so this is how high it needs to be and the middle is here so now i'm gonna pin around this okay i have the bottom out and i'm thinking of using a different foot that's not this so I can move around easily, or I could just go extremely slow. I'm thinking of putting zigzag. Distance, I don't think the distance need to be, I'll just put it on three. Ready? Nope. Mayday, mayday! <laughs> Did I do <laughs> You seen how careful I was, look at it. I am sad that it's not behind okay it's not bad look at it it stretches like i said right here we go
Okay, so now I have to clip them like this, very close, but clip the curves. Now, friends, we pull it in. Well, a very, very round heart. But all I could find is these one stretch, two-way stretch, because it doesn't stretch this way. And the reason I would use this is because the boob cups are too small for my butt for one stretch. And the stretch is only up and down and not this way. So it can maybe keep it in. It fits. Not a lot of room. I stretch a tiny bit this way, which is, I think, it's fine and enough this way, which is what I want. I will say a couple of things, but it's Oh, huh? What the frick is going on down here? Oh, stretch this way, but not much this way, yeah. <laughs> she has like a trident. That's where the snake is. The button is plain, but I want to put something there. No! With every cosplay I do, I always want a personal item for myself. Setting myself apart is a skill that I really, truly enjoy. But first, the official items from the cosplay, which is the horns and the crown. By the way, I made this scan of my face about three years ago, almost around COVID times. I scanned my face once and that's all I need to do with the Apple whatever camera thing that you can do in the back. That's the reason I got that camera anyway, because of the app. And this app is called Nomad Scalp. I bought it once and it was a good buy. I like apps that you can just buy once and you have it for the rest of your life. I'm not paying subscriptions. What's wrong with you? But it's nice to visualize what you would look like with the horn and the crown instead of imagining it. It gives you a nice fit. For the horns, for Charlie Morningstar, I wanted little goat horns that was like plump and fat on the bottom were very pointy at the top. I just like plump fat things. It's why I like guinea pigs. They're plump and fat on the bottom and pointy on top. I don't know why I like that shape, but it's my favorite shape. Anyway, she's a goat, right? I mean, she's the daughter of Lucifer and there's goat things happening with the snake there. And I'm guessing her tail is from her father and she's half human, but I think the monster part is from the mother as well. And she's a goat, yes? Um, what does she look like with goat ears? I never saw it yet, but I assume it would be goat-like, even though it doesn't have the ram horns. Anyway, I like plump things and this looks nice, plump and scrumptious. I think I'm nearly done. Hi, I'm wearing some of this stuff. Look at these. This is more red and this is more pink and it feels really good in the hand. This has nothing to do with the cosplay, the others does, but I'm showing first before I show the other one. Which one's your favorite? It feels as good as it looks. And here is the crown. The two pins on the side. The gems look wonderful. I just put the clear coating on it and it's way more better. And I like the crackle, even though that wasn't intentional. I didn't attach the stuff on yet. Oh. And I don't feel them. This also has the film on it. Eh. That's where it's gonna go. Now, for the cosplay, 
I could just hold this right down. You! There. It honestly looks like candy. Ooh, you're not dry. Where's the front? The front is with the writing. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. <laughs> oh, that looks delicious. Here we go. Here is that personal touch I was talking about. Other than the pens, I wanted to add something to the buttons. The buttons were too plain and they were huge, kind of cartoon-like. So I wanted medium-sized buttons. I just didn't know what shape to make them. And obviously, apples. Apples are the best shape. I mean, come on, it's everywhere. It was that or the rubber duck. If you have eczema, I feel like stockings is the worst thing to ever put on in your life. No matter how moisturized you are, you will it. Oh my god. And the worst thing about it is I have paint on my hands, so I can't really itch anywhere. Oh. Oh. What's this? Is it recording? I hope you appreciate my blindness, which uh, I'm glad I am in white because I could see a little bit of myself in the camera. I am very itchy, I am very white, and I'm kind of tired. So time to do my routine things for a bunch of videos. I do about 14 of these videos, and then I leave them in the drafts until I need them about three months, two months from now. Because if you're a social media person, people forget that you do things or new people haven't seen what you've done. Do not post the same character more than three times because people get so bored so fast. So I got the earrings done, the pen is over there. So how did I do? Um, I think I got the eyes actually right. With Charlie's eyes, it never, it's like it's round, but it's usually straight on the bottom. Does that one, <gasps> the teeth. Found it, I did. The lens, now I didn't put on the red lens because it dried up for months and then I re-wet it. So it has this white film on it that I can't rub off and I'm afraid to get some kind of special disease that you get when you put lens or bad things in your eye or contacts in your eye it traps bacteria. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, yeah, it's more recording. I'm going to stand back. I don't know where you are. Oh. What are you caught on? Goodness gracious. Hold on, let me try video. We really need a camera that's the same as the back camera and the front camera, people. I, I, yeah, I can see here and maybe here. And that's all you need to see. And yeah, I'm gonna pull in my stomach. But yeah, you will have to wait for the other shots. Okay. Say hello to my Patreon travelers Andrew Kelly, Nathaniel, Manny. Gemma Larscano, Tay, Miss Twisted, Antique Monkey, Cat Gersey, Mashamaro Hoshi, Ghost Boy 78910, Zara Leroy, Makara Curry, mm -mm. Andrew Kelly, who wants a Funko Pop that I will 3D print and will custom paint. So, that's gonna be another video, maybe. Like this video to get the full makeup video, then I'm too lazy to edit.